We get it, it's hard to break bad habits. But when it comes to building healthy habits, small decisions add up over time. If you have stairs at your home or office, take them every chance you get. Don't stop there, though. For a strong cardio workout, walk up and down the stairs repeatedly. Start with a limited number of repetitions, and then increase them as you feel stronger. Get even more creative by using wine bottles or a gallon of water as weights and your kitchen chairs for planks and tricep dip exercises. Why buy expensive equipment when you can utilize your furniture instead? It's nothing new that there are health benefits to drinking more water. It helps keep your temperature normal, lubricates and cushions joints, protects your spinal cord, and other sensitive tissues and gets rid of wastes through urination sweat and bowel movements since 50 to 75 percent of your weight is water drinking some plain old h2o is imperative in keeping your body working the best it can and staying hydrated if plain water isn't your favorite you can add flavor to your water to help up your intake If you drink diet soda each day, use carbonated mineral water to help wean yourself off of it, says Jeffers. Ingesting them frequently can increase your desire for high-calorie foods and put you at risk for weight gain. If you're not a fan of carbonated water, try drinking unflavored tea, coffee or fruit-infused plain water. Quitting cold turkey isn't realistic, but if you start decreasing the amount of diet soda and artificial sweeteners you ingest, you'll be doing wonders for both your waistline and your health. Even a 10-minute walk can help boost your cardiovascular health, says Travers. Take a walk during your lunch hour or to a store that is a block away to buy a gallon of milk, it's all good for you. You can try to leave yourself a note to sit up straight until it becomes an unconscious habit, says Travers. Walking with your shoulders back and head held high can also make you feel good about yourself. Try to head to bed half hour earlier than your usual time. Turn off your phone, we promise you won't miss anything, and wind down with a book. You'll be falling asleep in no time. Balance on one leg for 10 seconds at a time, then switch to the other leg. Travis suggests incorporating this balance exercise into your routine, but it can also be done while brushing your teeth or standing in a line. It's a part of neuromotor training, which helps you improve your balance, agility and mobility, all things you need in everyday movement and in other forms of exercise. Oh keep your weight from creeping up on you, set a weekly maintenance or loss goal for yourself, write it down and check yourself against that goal. Weigh yourself each week on the same day, and at the same time, and wearing the same amount of clothing for consistency. It's important to be mindful of clothes fitting and scale measure. something high in fiber that includes protein to keep you full and energized if you start the day out right you tend to eat better overall and it helps lower your risk of diabetes and improves heart health not only that but eating breakfast helps reduce brain fog so you'll be ready to go for those morning meetings Incorporate lettuce into your meals to add nutrients and water to your diet. 
The fiber in lettuce helps to fill you up, and it does so at just 20 calories per serving. Work to eliminate foods and snacks that you buy regularly that are high in calories but low on their health benefit. Eat them less often as an occasional treat. Try using low-fat dairy, whole grains, healthy oils like avocado and olive oil. Like avocado and olive oil and natural sweeteners like fruit instead of high-fat or sugary alternatives. <laughs>